what's good with y'all man if you've already seen the title you already know what this video is about man we playing our first game finally like football is back bro football is back and although it's a different location you feel me it's the same mission we just trying to win and have fun man so we are playing our first game man well we traveling to go play our first game we play on thursday we play earlier this weekend on thursday so today it's currently tuesday morning early as hell and um yeah we about to get on these buses and go head to florida to go play kaiser and so yeah I, you know how i usually in my videos give y'all like a whole get ready with me lifestyle thing and i'd be like showing myself like you know you know getting ready and fixing my bed well we we ain't even have time to do that this morning because we've been waking up early these past few days a lot and i barely i barely get out the bed this morning i'm not gonna lie and i've been sleeping too but basically y'all get the point we finna travel we finna go get on these buses and we finna go to florida so we can play our first game man so i'll see y'all when we get on these buses man We finally got off our first break. This near your, hey, Trey, this near your crib, ain't it? What, what is this? What nah, city we in? What city is this, though? Uh, it's kind of like. It's kind of like Lumberton type Purvis is here. Lumberton, where are we in Lumberton or wherever we at? Somewhere in Mississippi. Right, right. Somewhere in Mississippi. We taking our first break right here. Or at least taking a walk, man. So it's so crazy. It felt like we was driving for the longest time and we ain't even make a dent in the time. We still in Mississippi, which is crazy. They said we got 13 more hours left. Ain't that crazy? Can you believe that? We got 13 hours left. That's crazy. Say something, man. Say something, man. 13. 13, man. 13. But yeah, man. Still got 13 more hours till we get to where we need to go, so. Let's get back to it, man. in Florida right now so we made up a little bit of time bro we in Florida right now man and psh, it's nice man you see you know you in Florida when you see these little palm trees or whatever you know whatever they call them man. but we in Florida right now we still got like a decent way to go because we in like the part of Florida we got to go to is like near Miami and we just got into Florida so we still got like a long drive basically you know what i'm saying so we probably it's probably like a good 10 hours or something left but you know we well on our way you know and that's all that matters bro so we gonna get there when we get there and i'll see y'all when we do that man hey man long bus ride man about 14 hours we just made in florida So we just ate, we about to get back on these buses. Uh, if y'all been watching the news or the weather or anything, y'all probably know it's actually supposed to be a hurricane that's supposed to hit this area tomorrow. But if you're looking at the sky right now, shit, 
It looks like it's been one right now. We finally got to the hotel room, man. After 14 hours, which is crazy. But we finally got to the room. Y'all can say what's up to my boy David real quick. Oh God. Yo. Ball up there, you already know what it is, yes, man. Sir. But anyway, yeah, man. It's Tuesday night. Well, really Wednesday morning, because it's like past midnight. But we here now finally. So we got some things going on tomorrow. And y'all will be with me as we do that, or at least some of it for real. But before I go, I'm gonna show y'all the view real quick because it's actually not too bad. We got Top Golf, as y'all can see right there. And we on the top floor, so that's not too bad of a view at all. But y'all can see what it is, man. 14 hours of driving and we finally here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take myself to sleep. I'm gonna shower, go take myself to sleep, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. good with y'all man we finally back in the hotel room now man as y'all saw today we did a lot today we woke up we had had breakfast and then we went to go practice so y'all saw a little bit of that and then we went and ate and now we're in the room we got a little bit of free time to ourselves so that leaves a lot of time for guys to you know go out see the area if they want to or just chill and rest and relax as for me i stayed in because i was just dead tired man i felt like i needed to you know kind of recover a little bit but i feel good now we just in the room chilling one more time i'm gonna show y'all this view because i'm not gonna lie this is pretty tough i didn't even realize the night before that we were by the airport but you see top golf right there but then the airport is like right there so that's pretty cool as well but as for right now we just chilling in the room, just getting a few things done. We do have uh, some schoolwork to do too, which is crazy. But keep in mind, yes, we are student athletes. So I actually got to get some schoolwork done, but I'm gonna get that done. And then we're gonna go out to eat as a team later on this evening. So y'all be with us when we go and do that. So I'll see y'all then. with y'all man so as y'all saw man we had a lot of things we did today went to dinner y'all saw we went to golden corral had dinner we had a few other meetings after that now so now we're currently just you know in a little phase now where we can chill do what we want to do before we got to go back in our rooms for curfew so it's about 9 p.m right now and we just chilling I'm at the pool right now. I gotta just get in the little pool, kinda try and recover, cause my body is still kinda sore just from the whole trip and everything that we've been doing, just moving around all the time. So I'm finna get in this pool right now and um, finna just chill, man. So, yeah. Hey, Jay Gibb, man, what you gotta say real quick, man? Man, it's a blessing, man, for coming out here, man, to do this, you know, playing football, man. Everybody don't get to do this. So, you having a great experience right now. You gotta get the win tomorrow, man. Mm -hmm. You already know, great experience. You see where we staying too. I'm gonna show y'all the inside of the hotel later, but oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't ever think we ain't living large. <laughs> Nick, what you gotta say, my boy? Oh, man. Day before the game, man, you know, get a little cover in, a little yeah. stretch. Yeah. I'm trying to get loose, get right, man. You already know, we're just getting right for the game, man. For real.
This is not the place for us. <sighs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. What was I gonna say? Oh. Being here out here right now, now I'm by myself, just had me thinking, bro. As hard as like playing sports and being an athlete is, like I'm telling y'all, playing football has given me so many experiences and brought me to so many places like this right here that like I just like cherish forever, man. Like I don't know, bro. It's the simple things for me. Like it's 9 p.m or maybe like 10 p.m. And I'm just kind of chilling out here, but I'm chilling in a hotel pool in West Palm Beach, Florida. It ain't that crazy, but it's like just the solitude and the peacefulness I'm feeling right now is like, damn, like it just feels really good, bro. And it's like, yeah, tomorrow is gonna be a lot of nerves and a lot of anxiousness just for the game and all that. But right now, bro, we just living in this moment right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I got football to thank for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if it wasn't for football, I wouldn't be here. But yeah, bro, just, I say that to say like, for anybody who needs to hear it, embrace the pressure that's put on you. Embrace your expectations, man, because you know, you've heard the saying that, you know, pressure is good because it means something is expected of you. Just embrace the pressure, man, but also find, find spots and places of solitude and peace so that you can like stay sane you know what i'm saying like but right now just the peace i'm feeling right now is just amazing bro and i'm glad i get to share it with y'all man y'all here with me you know what i'm saying because if i'm in west palm florida you in west palm florida with me because you watching this video man so how i feel right now i hope y'all feel the same way because right now i feel like i feel like a weight's just been lifted off my shoulders. Not because of nothing crazy, just because I'm here in this water just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? And one more thing, I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had a speaker, but y'all know what I'm listening to. Y'all see it right here? Y'all see that, man? <sighs> Vibes, bro. Vibes, what better vibe do you need, man? Nighttime, pool, Florida, Bryson Tiller. Or whoever else you listen to, you know what I'm saying? Some smooth. <laughs> Vibes, bro. Since we're here and we just talking to, I'm not gonna lie, I know y'all ever been in some water and just like try to do some DB drills, like back pedal. Break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we just talking out loud right now. Oh, I'm gonna put y'all on to another song too real quick. Y'all may not know this one, but this right here. This right here. Hey, shout out to Sky Read the Kid, man. If you know, you know. If you don't know, go find out. good with y'all this probably gonna be my last little time i talk before the game come around but right now we just got a little bit of time we packing our bags right now just to make sure that we got everything out because once we leave we got to check out of the hotel and once the game come around you know we can't come back so basically we just doing that right now the fit is a little casual you feel me just these little blue shorts with our polo man but that's about to be it what we finna do is we finna have some time to just kind of stretch relax um, downstairs in the lobby before we have our pregame meal and then head to the stadium or the field to go play our game, man. So I'll see y'all then, bro.
gotta stop the camera. <laughs>